All right, for this next exercise, you're going to go ahead and move the ball away from the wall a little bit because um, you're going to need some room to roll. What we're going to do is we're going to go back to the bridging with the hamstring curl, and then we're just going to add some stirring of the uh, hip capsule. Great one for flexibility in the hips. Um, I know you like this one. So let's go ahead. I want to talk a little bit about the setup because the placement of the pelvis is, imp is as important as what the legs are doing. So go ahead and pull the ball in a little bit closer to you. All right, you set up that good. Okay. All right, what I want you to do is just to go ahead and lift your bottom off the ground. Now, notice what Marcus is doing here. He's not in a straight line. We're not in correct spine right now. We're actually spilling that water out the back, okay? And when you do that, it puts more emphasis on the hamstring. So I want you to do one wrong so that you'll know how it feels. Kind of let your butt drop and let your back arch a little bit. See how, where do you feel that? All back. Yeah, all in <laughs> his back. Not good. We don't want to do that. So reverse that and really tip it. Okay. So think about a big weight right here on the chest, holding all of that down, and then the pelvis is tipped, and cha ching hamstrings come on. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead, hold the ball still. You're going to let your legs fall out to the side into external rotation, and don't just let them sit there. I want you to squeeze right now. Okay. So keep squeezing in the back, straighten the legs out. Then once you get there, you're going to roll in at the hips, and then you're going to pull in an internal rotation. So we go out, roll out, and in, and roll in. Now I want you to vary your speed, Mark, because you can actually speed this one up a little bit. There's a lot of quick fire going on in the hip capsule. Can you feel that? Yeah. How many more you got? Ooh. We could play Let's Compete with the NFL star. All right, go ahead and take it down and rest for just a second. Awesome. One of the things that you should feel is the hip socket warming up because all of that stirring of the thigh bone actually warms up the synovial fluid. It's a great warm-up exercise. All right, go ahead and pull it back in, and we're just going to reverse that. <clears throat> well, you popped up right into it. All right, do your check. Deep breath in. Exhale. Don't move. Tighten the inner core. Squeeze the booty, squeeze the knees together as much as you can, take it out, and then roll those knees out. And take it in, get your knees as close together as you can, and still be comfortable, and then lay them out. Make sure that your movement is deliberate. You don't want to just flop the legs in and out. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but Marcus is in complete control here. It's a squeeze, a turn, and a squeeze. How do you feel it? Good. And go ahead and rest. And one major note is, you're probably wondering why I don't give you a number of reps. You go till you feel it. The way that you actually start to build strength and fire those muscles is to go to the point where you feel a little burn and then just do a few more. That way you can uh, get the training effect. So you want to use that on every single exercise. Make sure you keep going. Even if we're done, you keep going till you feel that nice burn.